Hi guys, hope all of you are doing great. Today I'm going to explain Ek Khiladi Ki Kuch Yade. This lesson has been taken from Durva text, grade 8, and it's the ninth lesson. Now, children, I request all of you to open your textbooks and keep the lesson open so that as I explain the lesson to you, you're able to uh, follow it. And you'll be able to understand the entire lesson by the time I finish it. Okay, so let's start off with the lesson. Ek khiladi ki kuch yade. Some memories of a player. Here, khiladi means player. Kuch yade means some memories. 60 saal ki baat karne se pehle, main kuch saal aur piche jana chahta hoon. Now, the author says, before talking about 60 years of development after independence, he would like to go a few years before that. Saal means year. Piche jana chahata hu means he would like to go back. It's like a flashback. Lahore ko yaad karna chahata hu jab main badminton champion tha. I would like to think of Lahore. When I was a badminton champion. School ground me ek din dhyan chand ko hockey khelte dekha. One day the author saw dhyan chand, one of the best hockey players of that time, playing hockey in the school ground. Uske baad mein hockey ka hi ho gaya. After that I just became a fan of hockey. यह बताता है कि बड़े खिलाड़ी को देखना आप पर कितना असर डालता है। Now this shows if you observe or when you look at great players how much impact it has on you. Here बड़े खिलाड़ी means great players, देखना means to observe them or to watch them, असर means impact. 1948 ओलंपिक से पहले हालात बहुत खराब थे। before the 1948 Olympics, conditions were very bad. Halat means conditions or situations and kharaab the means it was very bad. Kisi tarah Mumbai me camp laga. Somehow uh, the uh, camp was organized in Mumbai. Sab kuch bikhra hua tha. Everything was scattered around. Means Bikra means scattered. Hamari team me koi ghar aisa nahi tha jahan koi tragedy na hui ho. There was not even a single house in our team, that is, house of the team members, where there was no tragedy. Because, children, as all of you know, 1939 to 1945, we had faced the first world war. We had, India had faced not only the world war, the, you know, Britishers, they were ruling us till 15th August 1947. So they were doing their own cruelty on us. Along with that, we, we had faced the, you know, tragedies because of the First World War, which took place from 1939 to 1945. So that is the reason why the author says that there was no house in, uh, you know, where there was no tragedy had taken place. Dima khel se zyada. Bharat Pakistan ke alaga or tragedy parta. And you, we all know that 15th August 1947, we got independence and India got, India and Pakistan, they got separated. So the author says that their mind was on the separation of India and Pakistan and the tragedies related to that more than the game. Alagav means uh, dislike or segregation. Hum London Ponche. We reached London for the game. Vaham bhi vishwa yudh ke baad ke halate. Even in London, the situation was that of, you know, when a country faces a world war, what all happens after that? It was the same situation in London also. Vishwa yudh means world war. Halat means situation. Shehar sambhal nahi paaya tha. Even at this moment in 1948, 
the London city had not recovered from the impact of the First World War. Sambhal nahi paya tha means it had not recovered. Building mein goliyon ke nishan dikhai dete the. On the building, they could see the marks of the bullets. Here, goliya means bullets. Ke nishan means marks. Olympic draw nikla. Now, in 1948, the author's team had gone to London uh, for the Olympics, 1948 Olympics. Now, in that, they took the draw. When they took the draw, Bharat or Pakistan alag alag half mete. India and Pakistan, they were in different halves. Sabko yehi lag raha tha ki inhi dono mulkon ka final hoga. Now, everybody had a feeling that these are the two teams, that is India and Pakistan. They are the two teams who are going to reach the finals. Mulk means countries. Semi-final mein ek din hume Holland aur Pakistan ko England se khelna tha. In the semi-finals, one day, India had to play with Holland and Pakistan had to play with England. Wembley Stadium tha, jaha aam taur par football hota tha. It was Wembley Stadium where they had the games and uh, this is a place normally where football used to be played. Aam taur par, here it means normally. Barish ke beej, hum badi mushkil se Holland ko do ek se hara pai. Now, in between the rains, it was raining when the game was happening. So with great difficulty, India defeated Holland by 2-1. Here, Badi Mushkil Se means with great difficulty. England ne Pakistan ko hara diya. Now, England defeated Pakistan. Ab England se final tha. Now, the final was with England and not Pakistan. Queen Maujood thi. The Queen Elizabeth was present there. Maujood means was present. Ham ne England ko 4-0 ya 4-0 se haraya. India defeated England by 4-0. Hamari team mein koi aisa nahi tha jiski aankho mein aansu na ho. There was not even a single team member who did not have tears in the eyes. Aank mein aansu na ho means who did not have tears in the eyes. Usi mulk mein aakar hum jite the jis ne hum par raaj kiya. Now, children, we got freedom in 1947 and the Indian team had gone to England in 1948, just one year after the uh, independence. So, they had defeated that country which had ruled so India so badly over the years. That is why each and every team member there had tears in the eyes when they won the game. Usi mulk mein means in the same country. Akar hum jite, we won. Jisne hum par raj kya, the country which had ruled us. Usi ke ghar mein haraya tha. We went and defeated them in their own country, in their own house. That was a great feeling that all of us were having. Pehli baar vishwasthar par kahi jen ganman baja. Now, Jan Ganman is our national anthem, right, children? That was the first time when in, in the world level, Jan Ganman was sung. And just because the author's team had won. Vishwas Tarpar means on the world level. Jan Ganman, we all know, it's a national anthem. Hame garv hai ki yeh England mein hua. We are proud that this happened in England, in that country, who had ruled us over the years. Isse bada lamha nahi ho sakta. There could not be a moment greater than this. Lamha means moment. Sare dukh dar bhool gaye the. We had forgotten all the pains that we had suffered over the years when England was ruling us. Azad Bharat ne pehli baar dunia ko dikha diya tha ki wah kya kar sakta hai. Independent India had proved to the world for the first time 
how much capable it is or what it can do. Here, Azad Bharat means independent India. Pehli bar means first time. Kya kar sakta hai means what it can do. Mujhe afsoos hai ki uske baad hockey ka star gira hai. Now the author says that he feels very, you know, uh, bad to think that after that, after the 1948 Olympics, the level of hockey has fallen down in our country. Mujhe afsoos hai. Here afsoos means he regrets. He regrets. Hockey ka star means the level of hockey. It has come down. Giravat sirf hockey mein hi nahi. Kai khelo mein hai. Now this fall has not happened only in hockey, but in many other sports as well. Giravat here means this the fall. Kul milakar team game ki halat kharaab hui hai. If you see all together, the games or the sports which are played as a team, the condition of such sports have become very bad. Kul milakar means all together. Team game means sports which are played as teams. Khalat means condition. Kharab hui hai means it has become bad. Vyaktigat khelo mein zarur sapaltai mili hai. The author says, in individual games or sports, we have definitely uh, got success. Vyaktigat khel means like you have lawn tennis, table tennis, where you play singly. In that, India has definitely achieved success. Subtle time means success. Vishwanathan Anand, who is a ch uh, chess ca uh, champion, uh, Sania Mirza, hai. these people, they have all got success for India. Lekin, unhe upar lane mein koi system kaam nahi aya. But the author says the sad part is that in order to bring up these people like Vishwanathan Anand or Sania Mirza, no, the political system or no Indian system has helped them come up to this position. Yeh unki apni mehnat aur parivar ke support ka natija hai. This is a result. Their success is a result of their own hard work and their family's support. It is not that the Indian government or the government has created a system which helps all the people who are interested in sports to come. Natija here means result. Main yehi kehna chahta hoon ki system gadbad hai. The author says, if there has been a fall in the sports, it is because the system, there is a problem with the system. System gadbad hai means there is a problem with the system. Isi thik karna padega. We have to correct that system. Basic suvidhayan deni hi padengi. We will definitely have to support the teams by giving them basic facilities. Suvidhayan means facilities. Jai se, aapko hockey khelne ke liye synthetic turf zarur chahiye. Now one of the basic requirements of hockey is that there should be a synthetic turf. So that has to be provided and the Indian government system has to see to it that they are given that. Lekin hamare mulk mein kitne hai? But how many do we have in our country? So the author says that there has to be an improvement in the basic facilities that we provide and that will definitely help the sports teams to come up. Even hockey and other sports which have not, which have not been coming up very much we have to support them by creating a strong system. Angrezo ke samay mein ek baat achhi thi ki har school mein khel bohat zaruri tha. Now during the British rule in India, one good thing was that in every school it was mandatory that there should be games or sports. Tab khel na utna hi zaruri tha jitna padna. At that time, Sports or games were as important as academics or studies. Lekin yeh badla. But everything changed after independence. Kail khas jagar nahi pasaka. Sports or games could not find a proper place, a proper important place. Here khas jagar means important place. Kuch badla hai. Some changes have definitely happened. Lekin itna kafi nahi hai. But the changes that have happened is not enough. 
काफी नहीं है मीन्स दे आर नॉट इनफ हर स्कूल में मैदान जरूरी है इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू हैव प्ले ग्राउंड इन एवरी स्कूल मैदान मीन्स प्ले ग्राउंड आबादी के साथ खेल की जगह खत्म होती जा रही है एज द पॉपुलेशन इज इंक्रीजिंग द प्ले ग्राउंड आर रेड्यूजिंग इन नंबर or the grounds or the places where one could play definitely we all might have seen children that before there used to be lots of place empty spaces where we all could you know play but now if you see you will hardly find any place to play i have seen children playing in the garage i've seen playing in the you know car park so there is no place for children to play so definitely the sports cannot be you know encouraged that much खत्म होती जा रही मीन्स इट्स वैनिशिंग इट्स फिनिशिंग द प्ले ग्राउंड हमारे समय में कोचिंग जरूर आज जैसा नहीं थी इन आर टाइम्स कोचिंग द कोचेज हु कमेंट यू नो कोच यू फॉर द स्पोर्ट्स इट वॉज नॉट लाइक टूडे इट इज सीनियर खिलाड़ी एक तरह से कोच होते थे सो लॉन्ग बाद द सीनियर प्लेयर्स यूज टू बी लाइक अ कोच लेकिन जरूरत से ज्यादा कोचिंग और तकनीक के इस्तेमाल का क्या वाकई हमें फायदा हुआ है दर सेज नाउ देर आर लॉर्ड ऑफ कोचेस बट देर आर नॉट इनफ बेसिक फैसिलिटीज और प्ले ग्राउंड सो ही आस्क अ क्वेश्चन लाइक इफ देर इज कोचिंग विच इज मोर देन दैट इज रियली नीडेड एंड इफ यू हैव लेटेस्ट टेक्निक्स इज दैट रियली बेनिफिशियल दैट इज अथर्स क्वेश्चन जरूरत से ज्यादा मीन्स मोर देन दैट इज नीडेड तकनीक मीन्स टेक्निक वाकई इन रियालिटी फायदा हुआ है मीन्स हैज इट रियली बेनिफिटेड अस मेरा मतलब यह है कि खिलाड़ियों में जज्बा जरूरी है नाउ वॉट द ऑथर मीन्स टू से इज दैट इन अमंग द प्लेयर्स दे शुड बी पैशन पैशन टू master the sport passion to bring up the country bring up the teams and for that you know basic facilities playgrounds everything and you know create, giving this passion since childhood it is very important to have all that here jazba means passion shooting mein bharat ne tarakki ki hai india has definitely uh, you know advanced in shooting because we have got lots of medals in shooting tarakki means advancement or development cricket mein kuch safaltai mili hai and we have got some success in cricket also lekin 60 saal mein hum hockey sahit un khelo mein pichhde hain jinme sabse aage the but in the 60 years after independence we are still behind in sports like hockey and other sports in which we used to be you know in the front which used to be in which we used to be first in all those sports we are still backward un pichre hai means we are backward in those games like in 1948 in olympics we won the hockey team the hockey team won but now the situation of hockey team is not that great and jin mein aage aaye hai वहां सबसे आगे नहीं है एंड दोज गेम्स इन विच नाउ वी हैव कम फॉरवर्ड वी आर नॉट द बेस्ट इन दैट और वी आर नॉट द फर्स्ट इन दैट सो हियर इन ऑल द ऑथर व्हाट ही वांट्स टू से इज दैट इंक्रीजिंग द बेसिक फैसिलिटीज इंक्रीजिंग यू नो क्रिएटिंग पैशन अमंग द प्लेयर्स गिविंग इंपॉर्टेंस टू स्पोर्ट्स ऑल दिस हैव टू बी ब्रॉट इन द पिक्चर ओनली देन वी विल बी एबल टू एडवांस और बिकम फर्स्ट in the sports in which we really used to do very well desh ke behtareen hockey khiladiyon mein a shri keshav dar 1948 aur 1952 ki swarna vijeta olympic team ka hissa the now keshav dar has written this and he was uh, one of the players of the 1948 and 1952 olympic team which had won the gold medal and he is one of the uh, best hockey players behtareen hockey khiladiyon mein means uh, among the 
बेस्ट ऑफ दी हॉकी प्लेयर्स बेहतरीन मीन्स बेस्ट हॉकी प्लेयर्स स्वर्ण मीन्स गोल्ड विजेता मीन्स गोल्ड विनर हिस्सा थे मीन्स ही वॉज अ पार्ट ऑफ दैट टीम इस समय वह कोलकाता में रहते हैं एंड एट दिस टाइम ही स्टेज इन कोलकाता सो दर थिंग इज रिटर्न बाई केश so children so what uh, model do you get from the story that we should definitely create the passion of sports in us because sports should form a part of each and every child's life i hope you all enjoyed the story in case of any doubts do let me know do, do uh, you know write in the comments below and please don't forget to like share and subscribe take care and stay healthy bye bye